Okay. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to do this one kind of quick. This is going to be lightning speed, folks. You got this. Hang with me here, okay? Our last shortcut for proving similarity in triangles is called SSS. And as you probably guessed, that stands for side, side, side similarity. So this is only going to work if you have all three sides proportional. What does proportional mean? It means if I start doing ratios, those ratios have to be equal. So let's check and see if our three sides are proportion are proportional by making some ratios. So when I do these and I've got SSS, I'll give you the biggest hint that I can give you right now. I want you guys focused on what's the biggest, what's the smallest, and what's the middle one, okay? What's the biggest side in both of these triangles? The bottom is biggest here, and the bottom is biggest here. These two sides go together because they're both the biggest in their triangle. So let's make a ratio out of that. That's 16 and 8, and we know that 16 over 8 is equal to 2. The next biggest would be the 14 and the 7. And if I make a ratio out of 14 and 7, do we get the same thing? Yes. All right, one more to go. we got to show that the third ratio is also equal. The smallest of each, smallest side in each triangle is the 12 and the 6. And once again, we get 2. So they are proportional, which means they are similar. We're actually going to build a proof for this one. So I'm going to walk you through this first one, and then you're going to do the proofs down at the bottom of the page. Actually, just one of them. All right. So let's start with our conclusion. And, oh, you know what we're going to need to do? We need to name these triangles. Someone give me three letters here. A, B, C. Like it. A, B, C. Uh, how about three different letters over here? X, Y, Z. Works for me. So do we think the triangles are similar? Uh-huh, uh-huh, because of SSS. So I know my reason is going to be SSS similarity. Let's go ahead and write our similarity statement. Um, do we want to go alphabetical? A, B, C. And do those parts match up alphabetically? A matches up with X, B with Y, C with Z. I think so. B is across from the biggest and Y is across from the biggest. X is across from the smallest and A is across. Yeah, it does. It totally does. X, Y, Z. All right. Now, you guys remember when we did SAS, how we had a bubble and then we had two bubbles coming into it? We're going to have a similar situation here where we've got a bubble. I wish I'd made that a little bit taller because i got to fit some letters and fractions here. We're going to have a bubble, but instead of two bubbles going into it, we're going to have three bubbles going into this thing. Those three bubbles are going to be my ratios over here. So 16 over 8 equals 2, and 14 over 7 equals 2, and 12 over 6 equals 2. So we're showing that those three ratios are all the same number. And then we are going to write an equation that's got three fractions in it. Oh, I should have made that bubble bigger. Three fractions. Woo. And what's going to go into those fractions? A whole bunch of letters. And all I do, need to do is match them up from here. So look at this one. This top here is 16. 
Give me, look, find the number 16 in the picture and give me the, the two letters that are on either side of it. 16 is here, that's, that is AC. So let's put AC in the top here. And then the eight went underneath it. Find me the eight in your picture and tell me the two letters there. XZ. And then keep doing that with the 14 and the seven and the 12 and the six. BC, the six was Boise. And that's it. All right, I want to get, I want to take a quick temperature. Can you guys show me with your thumb meter, how confident are you feeling right now about building these flowchart proofs? And I'm expecting to see pretty wide range here. I'd say most of us, are, if, if you knew it was coming, most of you would say probably about halfway. And I'd say I know for a fact that some of us are feeling like, I don't understand this at all, okay? All right, so what if I told you this, okay? What if I told you this? On your tests, the bubbles are already gonna be created for you, and they're all gonna be partially filled in. So let's say I gave you a proof that looked like this, and that was missing, and that was missing, and that was missing, and that BC was missing up there, and the XY was missing down here, and let's say, I didn't give you this triangle and I didn't tell you the reason. Do you think you would be able to use the information that's on the page to figure out all the things that are underneath those little pieces of paper? Yeah. Does that feel a little bit more, make you feel a little bit more confident? That's the level I need you to be at for right now, okay? So I know some of us are feeling like, ooh, this is, this is a lot you're dropping on us in the last couple of lessons. Um, when you get to the test, you will, there's gonna be like a format already created for you. Okay, all right. Um, I would like you to do one more of these proofs. One of these pairs of triangles is similar and the other one is not. Anybody find the one that's not yet? The first one is not. Because when you did 211.2 over 58.5, those are the two biggest sides. What do we get when we do that? 3.61-ish. And then when I do, uh, let's see, the smallest would be 18 and 90. So 90 divided by 18 is 5. I already know they're not similar, right? Because we only did two of the ratios and they're not even e equal yet. 2.4 over 44 is going to give you even a different one, isn't it? Yeah, so they're all different ratios. So this one doesn't work. See if you can set up a proof for part B. It's going to be in the same format as this one. Same format as this. See what you can do with that. I'm happy to check that over for you. And that's it, folks. Our next assignment is actually going to be, now pay attention here, 3.2.3 is what I'm checking Thursday. Not this one. 3.2.3 is what I'm checking on Thursday. Uh, do you want problem numbers for that? Yes, please. Uh, 3.2.3 is what I'm checking, and the problem numbers are, this will be due on the, what is today, the third, so the fifth. We don't need this recorded.